<laughs> if I condition you that way, then I can, I can just point at you and you'll go flying across the room. And some of the empty force guys do that. And what happens is you do push hands with their students and you just touch them and they go flying across the room and you go, oh, come on. Well, why are you doing that? Just leveled up. Yeah, and all they're doing is training their students to get pushed around. And this will happen in jiu-jitsu too, I'm sure. Now I have the advantage. Okay. You feel the difference? That. Yeah, so here, I'm floating on you, and there you are. And now here, you're floating on me. So Yang Cheng Fu used to say, I'm not a meat hook, why are you hanging on me? Because people would come up and they'd do this. He was 360 pounds and six foot four, and you know, what else are you gonna do? But also, he was light as a feather, right? so he wouldn't use force to push. So there, you didn't feel any pressure. No. So from here, as soon as there's pressure, it's too much pressure. So you change the point of contact, you change the engagement, you sharpen the needle. There we go, you reduce the shear modulus. So don't stop me from going side to side. That's it, there. So if you only stop me from going into your center, or pushing your center, but you don't stop me from going any other direction, then you have this really strong needle in one direction and you'll just cut through me like a blade of grass cutting through the, the pavement. So if I'm doing it, then it feels like this, which, which is nothing, right? Yep. And if you're doing it, then it's like this. If you just make yourself solid and I push, and that happens and you can redirect and connect. But if you make yourself solid and then I don't push you. Okay. That float off of you. Yeah, the explanation, I used my chi. Well, no, it's I used Newtonian mechanics, <laughs> bit of Archimedes. So there, you push here. If you get underneath and you engage and you push, that's it. Do that again. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel the belly thing happening. <laughs> So I just push the belly, okay, so you push me, that's it, okay, now I'm going to resist and you push me, okay, now I'm going to not resist, uh, push, push real hard. Push I'm, as hard I'm as pushing you myself out of it. That's right, yeah. So just give me a real good shove, just boom, like that, good, do that again. Push myself out. Yeah, so you push. <laughs> then do it again, push. Don't bounce, you bounce yourself now. Right. So that's the conditioning. I did the same thing there that happened the first time you pushed me. You pushed me the first time, expecting to push me, and you succeeded in pushing me. Huh. Then you pushed me the second time, and I used the skill, and it bounced you backwards. Do it again, there. Right? And then I did the same thing I did the first time, but you bounced back. The mind gets tricked into thinking that something else is doing it when it's actually the mind doing it. Okay. And that's what you say, mind is a terrible thing. If I condition you that way, then I can get to the point where I can just point at you and you'll go flying across the room. Mm. And some of the empty force guys do that to their students. And what happens is you do push hands with their students and you just touch them and they go flying across the room and you go, oh, come on. Well, why are you doing that? I just leveled up. Yeah, I just leveled up. <laughs> they're doing the empty for stuff, and all they're doing is training the students to get pushed around. So, and this will happen in jiu-jitsu too, I'm sure. Right? I'm sure you get to the point where people they don't realize that they're doing it to themselves. Can you think of any situations like that? Jiu-jitsu tends to be a little more scrappy. Because of that, like, constantly pushing forward, they'll, like... They'll ignore the mistake they're making. They'll just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And they're like, I don't understand what's happening. You grab my arms? Okay, it's this kind of thing. All right, so if you're grabbing and I do this to you, you don't escape from it, right? So it takes a while for somebody to learn to just not hang on that. Okay, yeah, I'm trapping okay. myself. Yeah, so, but once you do the demonstration a few times, then the person comes up and it keeps happening to them again. Is it, it's not a demo anymore. You don't have to do that. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I almost flew out of my feet. Yeah. And this is where the patterning happens all the time. You know, how many repetitions does it take to establish a pattern? One. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, better watch out for that jab. 
you know. There it is. As soon as you see it, you start expecting it. There you go. And then, so that happens, and that happens, and if you do it a few times, within a particular context, I will keep responding to it the same way. I won't learn. Okay. Right? So you do that same thing you just did, so you go there, and I do that, and then you come back, right? and I keep doing that, and now when you do that, I'm conditioned to do this, even if you don't do it. Okay. <laughs> and so you go like this, and I, and I flinch, even though you haven't actually done the attack yet. Right? But if you do it, you go like that, and then you, then you counter, then there, then that happens. Do it again, there, do it again. Okay. <laughs> so so now, now you do it, do the same thing. That, that's the option. Right? So as you do that, if I can't figure that out, then I'm going to do this. So then it becomes like that, as opposed to that. So that's it. There. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I'm just in there and I'm feeling what's going on and I'm creating a relationship between the center of the earth and the center of the earth. I'm just being one with the universe. And if you decide to attack, you break the harmony with the universe and defeat yourself by the nature of the attack. Get your economy in the process. Damn. As authoritarianism and corruption will lose the fight for you. And that's, the, that's what happens, right? People are trying to be in control. They try to control the situation. They try to hold on, to block, to stop things from happening. When really you have to let them happen and adapt yourself to the situation, to the changing economy. There you go. We're trying to set that trap for a while. That was really good. And it just happened, didn't it? I tried to set it the time before and I blew it. Yeah, but you, there was no setup that time. That's why it worked. It's like when I do this, okay? So I'm just, it's, there's no setup. It's just, I'm not trying to control you. I'm just being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about saying, oh, I'm, here he is, I'm going to push him there. It's like, oh, what is the economic situation? Yeah, let's go. And then you go. There you go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There you go. So I'm tempted to give you a microphone so that people can hear you breathing heavy too. 